Hello, folks, and welcome back to the Hockey Tank Podcast. You're just in time for NHL Nuke of the Week, a weekly segment where we bring on friend and local hockey historian Caleb Smith. Tell us about a Newfoundlander to play in the show. Caleb, man, how are you? Great, buddy. How are you? I'm not too bad. Where are you two these days? I'm um, back in town. Actually, just got back in yesterday. Deadly, man. Is the snow giving you trouble? Uh, it wasn't bad yesterday. That's why I came in yesterday, but it's fucking shit out there now, actually. Yeah, it is, man. It's Newfoundland, like, this weekend, man, was kind of brutal. Honestly. Cornerbrook's covered, too, man. Cornerbrook is covered. That's why I was thinking about buying a shitty scoop, 500. <laughs> get around yeah, to the grocery store. 500 bucks, man, get something to pound around on. Loves that. That's what you want, man. Yes, sir. Caleb man, so who's new for the week? Uh, new fee of the week is Doug O'Brien, a defenseman from St. John's. Nice, a townie boy. Yeah, man, another townie. We got a lot of townies. Well, oh, actually, I've been trying to stay away from them. <laughs> got, somebody, <laughs> got somebody from where was it last week? Come by chance. Uh, Bay Bird. Bay yeah. Bird. God, yeah. imagine. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Doug O'Brien from St. John's. He was drafted 100, 192nd overall in the 2003 entry draft by Tampa Bay. Um, he played four seasons of major junior hockey with the um, Olympics in the queue before he turned pro. He turned pro in 2004-2005 with the Springfield Falcons in the AHL. But in I want to point out a season he played in the queue. In 2003-2004, he recorded 63 points in 66 games and was named the league's top defenseman. Wow, not bad. Oh, I was going to say, you said those numbers, and I was like, those are trash for, like, the QMJHL, and then I was like, oh, wait, he's a defenseman. Actually, that's yeah. sick. <laughs> well, yeah. I, there's also one thing about that season. In 66 games, he also put up 146 penalty minutes. Let's go. <laughs> so he's a so, tough guy. Uh, he likes to throw him around, man. Put the puck in the uh, net and his fist through your teeth. In the Q, too. Like, the Q's probably the least physical out of the three junior leagues, right? I'd say that, yeah. As you move west, it turns tougher, I think. Yeah, man, for or sure. At least back in the day, it was for sure. No, I, I still agree. I think the Western League is the toughest out of the three. Oh, the farm, farming crowd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Boz right there, like fucking hauling carrots all day. You know, so they can throw a punch. <laughs> um, after his uh, year in Springfield, um, he also got sent down to the ECHL because he didn't do uh, too well. Um, the next season, he played. Uh, 74 games with Springfield, but then he got called up for five games with the Tampa Bay Lightning, That's and right. he got two, he got two penalty minutes to show for his efforts, and that was the only time he would ever step on any challenge. That uh, sucks, I mean, man. Yeah, How come he never got a shot? Did they bury him? Uh, well, after 0506, where he played his five games with Tampa Bay, he went back to Springfield, and then he got traded to uh, the Portland Pirates. And after 06, 07, he said, I'm going to go over to Europe. And he went and played in the Finnish League, played a season. But um, after a season in the Finnish League, he only played 39 games over there. In 08, 09, he came back to North America for the Rochester Americans. And then after 12 games, he was sent down to the Florida Everblades of the ECHL. And uh, that's where he finished that season. So, again, after another failure, failure season in the uh, – North America, he said, I'm going to go back to Europe. And in 09 10, he went to the Czech League and he played two seasons there. And that's where he would finish major professional hockey. Then in 11 12, he would come back to Newfoundland and play for the Cornerbrook Royals in the Newfoundland Senior League. It's always nice to see the boys come home and uh, play senior hockey here. All the I know stories they got on the for sure. Yeah. Um, he played one season with Cornerbrook, and then he played with the CB Stars for two seasons, and he won the Herder with the CB Stars in 12-13. Wow. Did he win any other cha- type of championships throughout his hockey career, or was that the only one? In When he played for the Olympics in the queue, he made the Memorial Cup twice, so I'm not sure if they were to host one year, but I guarantee they won at least one of those two seasons. So, but he didn't win the Memorial Cup, but he won the, I think it's called the President's Cup in the Quebec League. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you got to cool. win that to get to the Memorial Cup, right? Yeah. And um, I also think he won a Pee Wee uh, Most Valuable Player when he was playing in town one year. 
I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> yeah. He probably, probably won a ribbon or something back in the day. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So never know, man. Yeah. Good for him. This guy's got extensive hardware, as we can tell. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I would say. Um, in the, the Newfoundland Senior League, in one season, 23 games, he had 94 penalty minutes. And another season in 15 games, he had 79 penalty minutes. So bad. what's this guy doing? Is he just jumping over the boards and just, like, fucking clacking boys constantly? <laughs> or is it tripping penalties? Like, what is it? How do you rack up that many penalty minutes in 15 games or whatever? It's definitely not tripping penalties, man. He's chalking them for sure. Probably three, 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, 10, 10 minutes, minutes here, 10, 10 minutes there. I don't know if he's a he sniper. Was like point per game. It's point per key, almost point per game in the queue, and then he's freaking getting all these penalty minutes. I, I can't <laughs> figure him out, man. He's a, he's a dicey fellow. What's his AHL stats look like? What kind of player is uh, this guy? HL totals are 235 games played, 17 goals, 59 assists for 76 points, and 207 penalty minutes. Oh, so this guy's a stay at home. This guy's a stay at home. 76 points and 235 points, or 235 games with 76 points. It's not bad, really. No, no. It's It's actually kind of surprising that he never stuck around around longer. Jeez, I can't talk um, in the AHL. Because, I mean, being a solid defenseman, if you got – good defensive abilities and you can get a point every now and then you'd think they'd keep him around for a couple of years but well yeah that's the thing like he was an ahl defenseman i mean tampa bay when he came into the league when he got drafted tampa bay was you know at the prime with like marty st louis and vinnie the cavalier and all the boys right and they're contending exactly. for the Stanley cup so they weren't looking to add I doug o'brien was expendable <laughs> no, they was probably a he was probably a great fellow for the AHL. I'd say he was a great team guy too. Yeah, maybe he wore a or C on his jersey in the AHL. Maybe he was there for a few seasons. Yeah, big team player. Yes, Don't want to chuck him. What else you got? To on see. Guy, what? Up? What else you got on this guy? Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but he played for the Clarenville Caribous as well in 14, 15, and that was his last season of semi-pro hockey he um that was the season where he got 79 penalty minutes in 15 games so um overall i said his ahl totals but his nhl totals were five games played zero points and two penalty minutes just uh he was on stat sheet for one game deadly <laughs> nice nice doug i uh yeah. i might be mistaken but i think terry ryan played on that clarenville team in 14 15 yeah oh sweet I, I don't quote me on that. We'll get we'll get to him when we cover him, but I think he yep, might have been. Will. I'm not sure. I'll note that uh, to think about that 14-15 Caribou's team. Did uh, they just I'm stack sure. it in Clarenville and 14-15? They just said, fuck it. We're just going to bring in players who fucking played in the show. This yep. is it. We need to win. Uh, it says his playoff stats. He only played four games, so that leads me to assume they got swept in the first round. Oh, wow. Imagine. Yes. Yeah, we uh, but, I mean, who's to say maybe Terry Ryan wasn't on that team? Um, we'll have to tune in for – keep keep you posted when Terry Ryan comes around. Well, another yeah. thing, too, that I'm thinking is after that long of a professional career, he's probably got injuries, too, probably lower body length, like ankle, and, you know, Definitely. stuff like that that could have kept him out at that age. So, who knows? But Yeah. So, he must be in, what, like his 40s now? Huh? Yeah, he's 37. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so he's not too old. We've done a couple of guys in their seventies. Um, I don't know if we've done anybody who's um, passed away yet, have we? Uh, uh, I know there is one that's passed away. No, we're, we're actually very fortunate that no Newfoundland or NHL players have passed away as of today. Wow, that's lucky, man. That's a yeah. weird. That's a weirdly good stat. Yeah, the oldest one is eighty-five. Is he not? Is it Faulkner? I think Faulkner's around eighty-five. Yeah. Yeah, I think oh, cool. Faulkner's 85, but I think the goalie we covered, Grant, was born four years later, too. So we got an 85 oh, and an 81, I think, year old. Gotcha. Okay, that's sick, man. Faulkner's an OG New Feet a Week. Yes, he he it represents New Feet a Week. Uh, more than Doug Bryan, we'll say. Or O'Brien. Doug O'Brien. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this guy's a beauty, man, you know? Just, yeah, not, not to throw any shade at Doug O'Brien. I mean, he played in, in Liga and he played in uh, Czech. So, you know, he's he's been around. Like, you know, he's he's a king of the three-star hotel. He's been around. <laughs> like you said, man, it was uh, the other one, man. 
I can't remember. Daryl Williams, I think it was. No, I mean, I love Daryl Williams. He's one <laughs> yeah. of my favorite new hockey players. Yeah, man, we, you've actually played with Daryl Williams, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's got to be on your top three of NHL. <laughs> new all time NHL yeah. players, yeah. He was one of the most underrated NHL players of all time. I'd say. <laughs> what do you play, like five <laughs> games with the Kings? Yeah, he played with Gratis. Dude, I think it was like two games. Oh, well. Yeah, but he's got a lot of coaching uh, oh, yeah. experience. So he yeah. found other ways to make his make his name known. For our listeners who want to hear more about Darrell Williams, tune in to our previous uh, podcast, and uh, you'll hear all about Darrell Williams. Yeah, on the Thanks YouTube episodes. Tales. You can special, also find it on uh, yeah. YouTube. Special Newfie of the Week episodes. With the, the nice picture, a nice hockey card of the player in the middle, isn't it? Yeah. Is it hockey cards? Yeah. That's so, usually a hockey card. Do uh, yourself a favor and go watch it. Yeah. Uh, Kev, anything on uh, old Dougie? Nope, that's uh, about it, man. All right, we'll leave it there. Uh, we'll have more to come on Doug on the Instagram post, folks. Thank you for tuning in. And Caleb, as always, we will see you next week. See you, man. See you, boys.